Anyway, so yeah, I've, I've literally just watched this game and... Oh my god, I feel like... The, the Lakota meta has forever changed, guys. And and I'm not going to lie, when you, when you watch this game, you're going to want to play Lakota. Because I know I do. I know I want to start maining Lakota. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is such a fun game, and uh, yeah, Lucas. I've seen Lucas play every now and then. Uh, he doesn't play that frequently, from what I can see when I'm looking at the ladder games. But he does play every now and then, and almost exclusively playing Lakota. Lucas being an extremely good old school player, uh, but an old school player adapting to the new meta. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. I'm just waiting for the day Hazza actually plays, uh, you know, Africa Civs, Africa DLCs, Malta, Italy, then life will be complete. If Hazza, if Hazza adapted to the DE meta, he'd be as good as Julian. I'm calling it, calling it right there. But he's still playing, he's still playing puny Russia. What a loser. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Shake? What's up, Beastie? How you doing, everyone? So this is a cracking start to the uh, to the stream. This this game is. I, I know I keep hyping it up, but honestly, just just watch, just watch. So yeah, we've seen this before. What's the sabi? So this is kind of the advanced market for trade meta with Lakota at the moment, and it just it just works so well because it's like they can fast fortress with a TP here. So he's chopped for two hundred wood. He did put down a TP, chopped for two hundred wood. I think he got a, he picked up a small a small wood treasure. And he put a trading post down. And I think it's about 15, 16 villagers is the classic age up. That TP is probably, I think it's worth about the same as hunting dogs. I think it's like 10%, maybe less, only slightly. But yeah, this, uh, this build never gets boring to me. This build will never get boring to me. Just constantly pouring everyone onto food. Secret and the advanced market does the rest. Bam, bam, bam. Yo, thanks very much for the the raid, Blackburn. How you doing? Yo, big moonshine coming in. 29 months, moonshine. Oh, yeah. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. Moonshine OE just subscribed. Has a e spina kartoffel aber ach ser Oh, no. Oh, no. Moonshine, moonshine's just adopted the German meta there. The German speech meta. Interesting why Mac just allowed that uh, 100 XP to fall into his hands there. So 16 vils, a uh, pretty late age up for Spain, but it's 16 villagers, so he's gone for the full greed there. Second card already on its way. Three minutes, 10, I think, was the age up, and he's gone for 15 villagers. So he did go for that really early TP, but obviously it's important for this advanced market um, build order here. So advanced markets, the second card that's coming in. The second card's already come in, obviously, for Spain. They've got capitalism. So look at saying, well, you get two cards in age one. Why can't I? Hey, like I said, this is the meta, the TP meta. This is DE. The XP, baby. And we'll see what he does. He's putting a few people on wood. That looks like just enough for hunting dogs or so. And uh, yeah, bang. This thing's going to come in. Like, Yes, so so you get 100 wood, right, for the market. You get 100 wood. Fine, that's that's fantastic, right? That's about 200. You're still 200 res down. Look at what he's about to do with all of his food. Watch, keep a close eye on this, cult, uh, on this coin. The amount of value he gets from this card, from this single market, the amount of value he gets from selling and buying is actually insane. Like, I'm going to swear, it's fucking insane. I don't know why I had to give people a pre-warning that I was going to swear, because I swear all the time. But yeah, the amount of value from this advanced market, if someone could somehow do the calculation with the amount of clicks that he does, it would just be fucking insane. Um, and, and way, way worth way more than an H2, uh, an H1 card. He's aging up with the Elder. That's going to be the food. There he goes, 500 food. Who, what Lakota ages up with food? <laughs> instead of wood or instead of aging up fast but here we are first card he's gonna look it's synergizes so well like bang he's in the age up he gets the third card straight away and that's gonna be the great hunter it's not gonna give him a lot of food so it'll give him what 250 food but it's it's, it's all it's all about getting that 20 percent faster 
and 10% of all food had been gathered. Yeah, so it's all about getting that 20% faster, which is, you know, a really, really good card. And it gives them and it gives them a small. So what, 200 added on here? So we'll go up to about 900. Yeah, okay, well, 1,000. Look at that, and look at that. Five minutes, 25. He's basically kick, clicking age here. The outpost from Spain's going up. Bang, look at that. The wise woman going up there. Is the wise woman the bison, I think? I think now he's he's getting the bison buff from the age up. And he and he ages up with a load of bison. Redneck hand that I'm not gonna lie, right? It's a pretty funny name, right? It's a pretty funny name. <laughs> so uh Revnax Handler, aka Mac. Mac Daddy. Revnax Daddy. Revnax ass kisser. Uh, he's got a couple of them. And uh, he's gone for the double TP. No stage coach by the looks of it just yet. So he's gone for, you know, free bills, capitalism, 700 gold, 700 wood, now five villagers. So pretty standard, pretty standard double TP. This, you know, I, I like to call this the Keister build because, you know, Keister was making this very, very good um, in in the, the tournament, the one of the tournaments that we played recently. And he seems to be absolutely dominating with Spain. Uh, doing this. Uh, oh, we had a little bit of a moonwalk there. I love it. I love it when they, when they moonwalk. It's such a funny bug. Uh, not all bugs are bad. And yeah, now it's on 24 vils, 26 vils if you count capitalism. Is in age three. Yeah, now now going for the double barracks. So very very strong slash greedy Spain play here. Pretty standard stuff for me. He's gonna have a card. What's he aging up with? Aging with a bishop. So going super greedy as well. That does feel like a Keister build, so really kind of stealing that meta off Keister. And uh, no doubt we'll see the Spanish gold as well. Oh, bang! Wait a minute! How did that... That just got full HP back from the age up. Wait, that the Lakota Explorer gets full HP from an age up? How? I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> what the hell? So here comes Lucasel. He's managed to build. He's got a coral up. He's built five bow riders. And that's all just from selling and buying from his advanced market. <laughs> In comes the bison. So his villagers are gathering. Look, 1.3 force food he's gathering here. That's because of the TP buff. That's because of the great hunter. And it's because of the bison age up. The elder. Uh, the wise woman, sorry. Age up. So his villagers are absolutely insane right now. He's got the market buffs for them as well. Absolutely insane. So, yeah, look at these guys. 1.34. God diggity damn. Compare that to 1.09, and I believe that's with still traps. So, yeah, these guys are on a mission right now. And he's literally just constantly selling food to uh, make sure he can afford all of these units. Just making some bow riders at the moment. Yeah, we've got a big Don Arte in chat. Hey, you're doing Don Arte. I, believe, I did see someone there. We got a Super Mash 13. Hello for now. I was watching only on YouTube, but now I can see finally a live cast. How you doing, Super Mash? Make yourself at home, good sir. Thank you very much for the chat and coming on here from uh, from a YouTube. We get quite a few of you guys coming over. It's good to to merge. You get the the pure sanctity of the YouTube um viewership and then they merge with the unbelievably toxic waste dump that is uh the the twitch um <laughs> the twitch boys all oh, right this is a really toxic place yeah oh okay we're doing some work here what we've got now north america trade coming in Oh, it's so good. I love this meta so much. I just can't stop looking at Lakota. For anyone who doesn't know, that card basically gives all villagers a small trickle on coin when they're gathering food. So villagers now earn extra coin whilst gathering natural resources, particularly from animals. So it does work for wood as well, but it's particularly strong when you're uh, gathering food. It's like it was meant to be. It was just meant to be, this, this meta. And look at this. Only three on gold, but look at that gold production coming. Still has the advanced market selling lots of food still. 
So good, man. So good. And he's basically going skirm goon. Basically going skirm goon. You know, it's just before 10 minutes. Uh, he's been able to hold on. He's got elite rifle riders. That's good against mass rods. That was the agent from the bishop. And don't forget, you know, he didn't have to go for these. You know, he went for eight villagers first and then into North America. He went for super greedy build. But so did Mac. So did Spain. He went for build, be, uh, greedy build. You know, he very easily could have gone with Keeners, axe riders, rifle riders, you know, Tacolas, whatever he wanted to. So... Revnex Handler. Already shipped a couple of... Interesting. Has he already shipped Marvelous Year? No, he's shipping it now, sorry. Um, so he's gone, by the looks of it, he's gone for Spanish Gold, 1K Wood, and now Marvelous Year. Like, this is as greedy as it gets with Spain. This is... Hey, hey! I love that little jingle. So yeah, this is pretty much as greedy as it gets, but even though it's greedy, it's like, it's still really high tempo at the same time just because it's Spain. So yeah, this is this is like this is a really strong build from Spain, and this is like what I saw a lot of Keist doing, and uh, he was just dominating. He really was dominating with this build. It was people were really struggling, calling Spain OP. Adding in some Berbers now as well, and look, even greedier. So he's going to get some Berber camels, but no doubt he's going to be getting some of those Berber nomads as well on top of this. So two TC with the free free semi free TC Berber nomad. Playing super greedy here, taking the map. 39 villagers compared to Lucas's 35. And don't forget, Lucas has already shipped eight villagers. So for him to be up in village count with only shipping the five villagers is pretty damn impressive. <laughs> oh, Shake, I've uh, I watched one of yours back. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely be casting one of yours. I've got another casted from someone else as well who did a, who's done a really fun build. So yeah, but, uh, keep your little panties on, Shake. Don't you worry, my boy. I do appreciate you sending me lots of games. I appreciate everyone sending me lots of games. But you got to remember, I get sent like dozens and dozens of games, and I have to watch. The, I have to watch through all of them. Half of them go out of sync, and the other half just aren't that great. But this one, I found all of my little lonesome, and we got a big battle going on here. Basically, skirm goon bow riders. We've got a few rifle riders in the back. He wants to try and keep them alive as well. And they're kind of camouflaged with the bow riders, which is really important. But he's being swarmed by rods, lancers, berbers. Skirms are doing work in the background, just infinitely making dogs as well. That's going to do some work. Ah, uh, who's coming out on top? I don't know. Looks good for Lakota. Again, the whole time. Look at this food. He's not paying anyone on gold. He's got almost two shipments in queue from the amount of XP he's making here. Looks like it may end in an even Stevens. Yeah, only bow riders left. Doesn't want to lose those bow riders. They are quite expensive. Wakina well, rifles you can lose. They are like just the, like one of the worst. Um, skirmishes in the game, if not the worst. Like, someone name a worse skirmisher than Wakina Rivals. Like, bless their little cotton socks. They are terrible. And uh, we're, we're up to 3,100 food. And look at this, just like this, fur trade coming in. Oh my god, it's going to be filthy. It's going to be unbelievably filthy. He's going to have, oh my god, he's going to have like 4,000. He's going to have like 4k gold. Oh my god. <laughs> he's got imperial gold. <laughs> And he just buys all that food. He's going to make you... Oh, no, he's just going to wage up. <laughs> so he just he just takes a really good fight. It was kind of an even trade, which is okay. And uh, just stacking up a load of food and going up behind that with the third trade, uh, just being able to age up. And because, he, because he's been selling gold this entire time, he hasn't bought any gold. So he hasn't bought any food, right? So he hasn't used that gold to buy any resources other than, you know, a few hundred wood to pay for the infrastructure here. So he's going to get, he's going to have had a really good buy rate there. And that's just going to get him two 2k food instantly and still be able to age up. So that fur trade card right there is basically an, a free age up card, right? <laughs> it's basically an age four card for him. And that was just insane. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, Lucas. That was brilliant. He's aging up with the chief. Not sure what the chief does. Um, someone let me know. He is down 3k score though. And uh, again, look at this. Just still so much gold left over. He's still producing a small amount of coin. 
Um, with the 36 villagers all on food. Everyone on food, the entire game, just everything on food. It's just, it, it sounds easy, but it, it's not gonna be, it's not as easy as it might sound. He does have a community plaza down now. Uh, looks like he's getting his uh, explorer back. But it's a really great place to have it because look, you can just dive in all of these, uh, all of these units, uh, all of these villagers onto the community plaza, buff your attack of all your units by about twenty percent or so, and uh, yeah, it'd be absolutely insane. Ages up with oh my god, twelve hundred wood. Uh, I guess it's going to be to get more infrastructure or to get all of the, all of the kind of um, elite techs for all of your units. Yo, what's up, big bandit? How you doing, man? Big daddy lion, big daddy bandit. I hit 1600 Elo and Age of Empires 3 and now hit Platinum Age of Empires 4 all the way. Oh, shay. Good on you, Bandit. 1600 Elo is... That's actually boss Elo. Like, people people don't understand because they watch, like, top streamers all the time. But 1600 Elo is really impressive. Well done, man. And Plat in, in uh, Age of Empires 4. Man, you are... That's really cool, man. Good for you. All right, looks like we've got another big battle there. Oh, my God. How many Wakinas was that? I think that was 18 Wakinas is his first shipment. <laughs> and all of a sudden, his rematch is absolutely insane. Tacona soldiers coming up behind us. He's getting... I don't know where all this XP is coming from. I guess it's because of all of this fighting. And I think he's going to be doing really good. Revnax Hand is on 64 villages. He's making Berber Nomads now, like I said earlier. But he's getting cleaned up, Sunshine. <laughs> we got champion Makina, so the champion tech comes in uh, at the same time that the 18 of them getting sent. Oh my goodness me, that is just ridiculous. Uh, Lucas L making this look easy. Score still neck and neck. We're on 67 bills. Does have two TCs. No, a lie. Three TCs right now. Um, still has a double racks and a stable. So this is not over yet. Lucas L really needs all of these herds on the map now. And he's, he's, he's running out as well. Really is running out. And that's what this, this whole build order is based on. Him being able to gather from herds and bison. Minutemen coming. Right, seven rod on the way. We've got those Tacola soldiers though. No, not Tacola, sorry. Tashunkis. I love this unit. I absolutely love this unit. It's such a cool unit. It's basically like a stealth cur. Did see that that uh, this trade post went down oh, quite a while ago, I believe. Well, it might have just got built then, actually. Um, does he have stagecoach? So he doesn't even have stagecoach. So Mac hasn't got stagecoach. Uh, that feels like oh, uh, that feels like yeah. that, feels bad. that feels really bad. Because you've had three TPs for a long time now. Radovan buys the dust. Just subscribed. Who is handling? Yeah, what's up, big Radovan? I was enjoying your stream earlier, mate. Uh, fantastic stream earlier, by the way. Uh, good to your your elo's getting uh, get, is impressive as well, Radovan. Oh, huge villager raid. Um, this guy is Mac, by the way, Radovan. Oh my God, so many villagers going down. He found the jackpot. Ding, ding, ding. So, well, how many villagers just went down there? Like, fifteen villagers. 12 villagers, maybe? Damn. <laughs> Tashunki's just gobbling them up thanks to this two multiplier. God damn. Really nice play. Revnak on 61 vils. Lucas L on 41. So Spain still has the advantage to eco. And the score's still neck and neck. Revnax handed. Mac just got it. The lead ever so slightly. This is like 50 score in it. Oh, God damn. This is a close game. But my God. Come on, Lucas. I'm backing my boy, Lucas. Because my God, this build is just ridiculous. Don't forget, this build by Spain is so good. It's something else, honestly. It looks like now, finally, we're starting to see some villagers on gold there. He's admitted defeat and finally needs to put some villagers on gold. Looks like he ships some bison. Yep, got that infinite 13 bison. And that is such a good card because of because of the build that everything he shipped up till now, the bison are so valuable. 1.34 food per second, 0.15 gold, and 0 0.03 XP. I think that's a tech from the tribal marketplace. So these villagers are insane. Yes, Revnax Handler has the advantage with the amount of villagers, but these villagers are worth way more. Absolutely insane amount of 
value he's gathering there. We've got ourselves another big fight, just slamming in Rodoleras and Lancers. Burp is in there as well, which are good against Cavalry. Lots of skirmishes in the back. He wants to be killing those bow riders as quickly as he can. So Shunky's getting involved. I think this is going to go well for Spain. There's so many Rodoleros. Oh, what a cleanup. He does have the increase of 10 percent damage but it looks like that's not gonna be enough oh but the big button the six big button coming in from lakota can that change things look at these things champion Tacona soldiers 800 hp 46 hand attack with a 0.5 1.5 multiplier versus infantry oh my goodness me almost two hitting very close to two hitting these skirmishers more bison coming in. Yeah, you can just infinite. That is just the best card to send now. Just infinitely send 13 bison. And I tell you what, even though I was about to say it was going to be a cleanup for Spain, that big button, that TC big button, uh, it wasn't a card. So it was definitely the uh, the, the Tacola big button for, is it 1800 food? Damn, this game is still super close and a nice 10 pop of Rodoleros. Bow Riders do have 30% melee resist, so they will survive longer, but these Rodoleros still just do so much damage. And uh, ends up being a Lucas win, but the scores are still so tight. 46 villagers. Oh my God, what, what a game this has been. When you when you when you think about the build from Lakota, it's just so good, man. Just really, just such a de build, but such a fascinating one, honestly. Man, this is making me want to play Lakota seriously. Again, just putting, just look, <laughs> look at all the food, look at all the bison. These guys will gobble up bison super quickly, but. As long as he keeps infinitely sending that bison card, he should be okay. Has the community plaza on siege attack right now. Siege dance, 26% extra siege, kind of insane. So go have a look at Mac Daddy over here. 73 villagers. His score's bouncing back well, but he can't, he's not able to squeeze in the industrial age here. What does he need here? I don't think goons, he doesn't know that. I mean, I think he's making the right stuff, honestly. I think, you know, the, the, the skirm, the skirm rod and, and lancer with the Berbers, you know, it, it's the right build here. Like, I, I don't, he can't make anything better, honestly. He's trying to dive in here and save the stable, but it's going to be too late. So he doesn't get any reinforcements from there. Rodolera's nice micro here. The Rodolera's diving into the bow riders whilst the cavalry gobble up those skirmishes. And oh my goodness me, that is a lot. That is a big remass. Look at these lancers. 60 damage they do to these Makina rifles. They basically three hit them. Almost two, almost two hit. But again, Lucas, these bow riders are something else, man. Look at the damage multis versus cab. 1.5 fire rate, don't forget. So these bow riders are absolutely insane. Maybe cavalry is not the right option here, but I'm not sure what is. Brings his explorer back. That's not going to do too much other than build some more dogs. Burbs getting stuck in. Has some more champion to Shunkies. One of my favorite units. Minutemen getting called. Desperate times now. The score's starting to look really good for Lucas. Come on, Lucas. 77 bills for Mac, though. These Berbers are elite. They're coming in. Are we going to see a nice, a nice pop of 10 Rodoleros? Can't get a timing right. He's desperate right now. He's having to make more dogs. Just needs to, wants to keep these barracks alive for that 10 Rodolero pop. Doggy's not even connecting. Nice. More skirms coming in. Oh, Rodolero's run away. Okay, fine. I mean, they would get gobbled up, but... Five more Berbers. Maybe that, that's what he's timing here for. Back up to 76 villages. If he didn't get that huge raid down here... He probably would have been on 99 vils right now. Still has natural res to get. What's left in that bag? 
Lucas, look at the amount of food. He's put everyone back onto food. Basically has his entire economy on bison <laughs> under his TC. So they're all very safe as well. Oh, God. that You know, who needs towers when you just infinitely spawn bison? Look at that gold production. <laughs> He's got one villager on gold. Look at the amount of gold that's coming in. Just insane. Still has the advanced market to sell. To, I mean, at this rate, there's, you're not going to get a very good rate, but... Oh my God, look how much food he's stacking. My man is flexing hard. Oh, and look at this. <laughs> Just uh, pumping out units, man. He even has a, a spare 10 villagers dancing on the community plaza. So basically he's on a 45 eco right now, but you take all of those buffs from the cards, the bison, just insane. More villagers going down. Maybe we've got another fight up here. And uh, now we've got a pure Rodolero in cab comp. Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to take the Berbers onto the cab because they're basically melee goons. The Lancers need to go on, on the Wakina rifles, but you, you don't want to be moving around things too much. Sometimes you just want them to attack stuff. Like, just get your Rodoleros attacking shit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, done a good, not, nice job cleaning up there, but five more to Shinky's coming in for the reinforcements. Is it going to be enough? Oh, lordy, lordy, this is one hell of a game. I told you, I told you this is a game. And it looks like we might get a cleanup just when it was looking super good for Lucas L. He's almost stacking 6,000 food. <laughs> My man could almost go for the Imperial Age, honestly. There's a lot of villagers over here, and I'm sure Lucas sees this. I'm sure he sees this. He does. He needs to get some Tushunkis over there. Mac Daddy having to back up. More bow riders, more Wakinas. Honestly, I would love to see the end. I would just love to see. The uh, the Imperial Age up here would just be hilarious. What I mean, he 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 hasn't used the fast age up right, so he could actually go into Imperial with the fast age up. <laughs> now he goes for Cav Combat, which I think is a decent card here. He's still got plenty of Bison. Look, so much Bison still. So Cav Combat's a really nice card here. It's going to be fifteen percent for his cavalry. Makes sense. Could have shipped that a while ago. Could have shipped that a couple of cards ago actually. But uh, still only on 60 villagers. And look at this economy. Has some villagers on gold over here. That's literally about it. Some gold now starting to put some people on gold over here. Mac Daddy having to put down lots of mills, lots of infrastructure. Does he have some mills left? He does have, uh, so he has a silver mine left here. Um, has this one down here, but that's being gathered. So literally on, basically on one mine left. And that's not a very safe mine either. Look at that food production. Just insane by Lucas. Max on 80 vils. Still making the same stuff. He has two, count, uh, two Falconets now. Finally shipping those two Falconets. But is that going to be worth it? They're going to have to get a lot of shots off against those skirmishes to, for, the, for these to be worth it. Bow riders just, just absolutely destroy Falconets. Uh, and if he's got a decent mass of them, yeah, I don't know. He's, he could bait them in and, and you know, have Rodoleros and Berber Camels kind of dive in against the the champion bow riders if they decide to, to try and dive in and kill the Falconet. So there could be some nice bait there uh, with the micro. But again, uh, struggling with the food now. And it looks like he's kind of, yeah, he's just got all of these mills down. He's on 51 vils on food. He's going to need to get some estates down soon, I think, as well, unless he decides to come here. That TP going down, that native TP, so no more Berbers for you. Let's have a Sufi mosque here. I'll tell you what, Quizlebesh could be a decent shout as well. Quizlebash, Quizlebash, your mum. And where are those Falcon Nets going? They're unpacking, I tell you what, that takes some balls. Um, I don't know if that was uh, bravery or stupidity, but yeah, <laughs> down goes one falconet for free, basically. Um, not microing this well. I think, yeah, the trees and the trees and this terrain just really getting in the way there. And 
a little bit unfortunate for Mac, but diving in, diving in Falconets over there was just absolutely terrible. He's diving in for it. Uh, I mean, it's got a load of medicine, but I think there's just way too much stuff here from Lucas Elway. He's on 82 bills. Lucas, he's on, what, 10% attack damage here. There's just way too much stuff, and I think there's the GG. What a what an unbelievable game. Now you know why I wanted to bring this to your attention. And this was played earlier today as well. And this was literally played like an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. And I, I saw it, and I was just like, please, for the love of God, let this play back. Don't go out of sync. And uh, Lucas L really, really showing why this wasabi wasasabi meta with lakota is so freaking strong and uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm tempted to pick this up i am tempted you know it's it, we're, we're in the age of the fast fortress meta you know uh why wouldn't i pick this up so what a fantastic game and let's look at the stats on that Look at the eco. And, and that was that big raid there. He went down from 70 to 2. He lost 12 villagers in that raid. I did say about 15 to 12. Um, so that was probably game-changing right there. That was probably a, a huge pivotal moment. Um, because if those villagers didn't die and kept on gathering food, could have been a problem for Lucas. But uh, <laughs> look at that fur trade. And uh, yeah, keeping up. Keeping up with that, with that really greedy Spain meta. Don't forget, Spain went... Spain went Spanish gold, 1K wood. The bishop age up for the extra TC. Um, he went for the native villagers, the Berber villagers as well. So, you know, and he went for that early um, upgrade card. I can't remember what it's called. Um, marvelous year as well. So, so really greedy by Spain there. But for Lucas to keep up, to actually keep up with his economy was pretty insane. What a, what a game, GG.